Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to fix this domain name is already in use in Google Workplace. This error occur while setting domain for using Gmail and other services in Workplace. We'll cover official ways to add TXT records or contacting Google Workspace support and explain exactly what steps you need to take to resolve this domain conflict error. First, Click on the provided link, then scroll down to the section titled This Domain is Already in Use and review the listed bullet points. If none of those apply to you, and in most cases they don't, you'll want to proceed by filling out the Google Workspace Domain Recovery form by clicking Fill out this form in Contact Us section. Start by entering the domain name you're trying to use and provide a valid contact email address. If you're unsure whether you've previously signed up with this domain, Simply choose, no, this is my first time. This step is essential when you're trying to recover a domain name already in use by another Google account. Next, you'll be asked to verify your domain ownership. This requires access to wherever your domain is currently hosted. I recommend using the TXT record verification method. It's easier and faster than setting up a CNAME record. Copy the destination target value code by clicking on the copy icon. Then, Go to your domain registrar or hosting provider and open your DNS settings. If you're not sure how, search for how to add TXT record in your hosting company and follow their guide. In my case, I will add at Squarespace and show you how you can do it easily. Once inside the DNS settings, create a new TXT record and paste the code you just copied. Then return to the Google Recovery tab, scroll down and click check again. You might need to click this a few times until the verification is successful. In 99% of cases, people see the this domain is already in use error in Google Workspace because they want to set up a new Google Workspace account, but the domain is still tied to a previous account. If you suspect the domain is owned by someone else and you want Google to contact them, you can select the second option in the form. However, for most users, the goal is to free up the domain for new Google Workspace setup. Once everything is done, click Submit Request. After submitting, you'll see a confirmation screen and an email will be sent to the contact address you provided. This process helps you resolve Google Workspace domain ownership issues quickly and efficiently. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you understand how to remove a domain from Google Workspace or recover it for a new setup. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more Google Workspace and Squarespace tutorials.